In this video, we will cover some essential tools for pattern maker in Close 3D. There are many tools here in Close 3D. It can be confusing. However, though, you don't have to worry about that. We only focus on the tool that we will use in Close 3D for pattern maker. For example, transform pattern tool, edit pattern tool. And something that we need to remember here, if we don't see the tool right here appear onto this toolbar, simply click on this small arrow there, you will see the tool behind it. Or come over here to this help menu and then click on, let's say I'm looking for a sewing tool. Simply type in S E W and you will see the sewing tool list right there and point you to the direction where you want to go. For example, edit sewing tool. I will come over here and click on this edit sewing tool. And there it is. This is adding sewing tool pop up. And by the way, guys, every time the tool turn blue, that means this tool is active. Okay. Then simply use that tool however you need. Uh, next, I want to point out a couple more tools here that we will use a lot. Polygon tool, rectangle tool, and internal polygon shots, line tool, and so on. Come down here, we have notch tool, annotation tool. Then I'm going to click one on the page to hide that tool. Over there, we have edit sewing tool, and we have this segment sewing tool. We will use that tool as well as free sewing tool, okay? And there is something to remember. Many of these tools here only work in the 2D window. And many of these tools here only work in the 3D window, okay? Next, I want to explain a little bit about this vertical toggle menu. I will prefer a display menu where we use this tool to show or hide the item in the workspace. So we will see more in action when we begin drafting the pattern, okay? So first of all, let me demonstrate on using polygon tool here. Click on this polygon tool and then zoom in to this avatar. Let's say if I want to sketch a garment onto this avatar. Simply click one right there and then click one up here. Then click one right there then click and drag to create a curve. Then click one right there. Once again, I'm going to click one right here and then click right here and then come back over here. How about the mouse over there? If I zoom in a little bit, you see this point appear? Click once again to place that end point. Next, I will switch the tool to transform pattern tool. So transform pattern tool is awesome because we will use that tool a lot to move the pattern, to delete the pattern if we don't like this pattern at all. Simply right click and then select delete that pattern just like that. Or let's say, oh, I made a mistake. I don't want to delete that. I can pressing on command or control plus letter Z to get that pattern back. And let's say I still don't like that pattern. but I want to change a couple of things. I don't want to delete that pattern. I can simply use this edit pattern tool. Click on that and click on this edit pattern tool. And I want to adjust this point right here. Simply click on that point and then drag it in. I want to create a little bit better curve, okay? As well as this right here. I want this go up a little bit higher because my ammo a little bit too big, okay? And right here, the same thing. I want this point down a little bit, so click and then drag it in. Just like that. Or let's say this curve is all wrong altogether. I can simply click on that point or my key selects that point. Right click and then select the lead point. Then I can create a new curve. I will use the curvature tool. Simply go into that tool again, click on the edit pattern tool, then hover the mouse down here to Edit Curvature tool. Click on it to select. Then I can click on that line right there, drag it in to create this perfect curve. Next, I also want to create the curve on this hem as well. So click and then drag it down here to create the hem curve. After that, I'm going to use this Edit Pattern tool once again, and I want to unfold this. Simply click on that line right there, right click, 
and I want to select unfold. Now we just create the front dress for the pattern. Next, I'm going to come over here and change my fabric texture from monochrome to translucent surface so I can see the avatar beneath it. Next, I will switch my tool to transform pattern tool here. Click on that and then click over here and then drag it up a little bit. Okay. Next, we want to make a copy of this pattern. Simply click one, right click and then select symmetric pattern with sewing. After that, I'm going to press on shift, left click to place that pattern. Okay, this is awesome guy. Next, I'm going to mark key select both of the pattern pieces, bring it down here and we want to place that pattern on to the avatar. Okay, to do that, first I want to reset the pattern from here to make it match the one that in the 2D window. Simply come over here to this 3D toolbar and click on this reset to the arrangement all. And as you can see, one click, now the pattern is reset. So to place this pattern onto the avatar, first I want to come over here and label that pattern first, okay? So I want to label this front and this is back. Again, they look the same and it's not any different. However, though, as a pattern maker, it is important to label your pattern. To label the pattern, we have to use this annotation tool. Click on that. And then we want to select this annotation tool. Then simply zoom it in and then click one to place that cursor. And I'm going to type in dress dash and then letter F. Then I'm going to click on any tool or click on edit annotation tool there to get out of that tool. Now I can zoom out a little and zoom into this right here. And I'm going to type in dress back. Simply select that annotation tool once again. Click one to place the cursor and then type in dress dash and then letter B. Then simply click on edit annotation tool here to get out that tool. So this not really a dress per se, it's more like a concept sketching in Clo. Again, I want to introduce you with all these tools. It is nice to see what the tool can use for, okay? After that, I'm going to place this pattern onto the avatar. To place the pattern onto the avatar, we will come over here to the vertical toggle menu. And we want to click on this right here. Avatar display, click on one, hover the mouse to the right and click on the show or high arrangement point. Now I'm going to zoom into the avatar here. First of all, I'm going to switch my tool to transform pattern tool here. Then click one on this front pattern. Hover the mouse over the avatar right there. And simply either up here or down here, I'm going to click on down here. That's about right. And we want to expand this pattern a little bit so it doesn't snuck into the avatar. While that pattern is selected, come over here to the property editor, okay? Then we want to scroll down until we see offset. Click on that and then slide it to the right. And as you can see right there, now the pattern is expanding. Next, I'm going to press on number eight. Next, I will click on the dress bag and then come over here, hover over the avatar, click on it to place. Then once again, come over here to the property editor and scroll it down until I see offset. I'm going to click and then drag it to the right until the pattern cover the avatar. Next, let's press on number two to see the front view. Okay, now we are going to hide this show arrangement point. Simply go back to the avatar display, click on that and then click on that show or hide arrangement point once again to hide. 